Dia nggak cuma. Confidence is key. If you want to succeed at anything in life, anything, confidence, small or big, confidence is going to get you there, no matter what. If you want to ask out the love of your life, if you love this freaking girl, you want her so badly, you just, you just know. You could treat her better than that fucking, that, that Jack, that John, that Tim, that Michael. You could fucking do it. You know why? Because you're going to be confident. Valentine's Day just passed. You know what happened? I was going to send my best friend. I did send my best friend a gift. I sent her a, a really cute, a really cute gift. And it was really, it was really incredible. I really loved it. And I enjoyed, I enjoyed just making the heck out of it. It was really fun. And I just, I just wish I could see the smile on her face when she opened it. And I messed up the label and she didn't get it. And you know what that taught me? You know what, you know what that has taught me? I still haven't gotten the thing back. That was a couple days ago, actually. You know what that taught me? It didn't even, it didn't even teach me. It just reinforced the thought I already had. And that was that even though you think everything is going amazing and perfect and no hiccups at all are down the line, something can go wrong. And you know what? That's okay. Because it doesn't matter. As long as you're confident, why worry about anything? Like worrying does not help you at all. All it does is make you fucking worried and scared and second guessing everything you're about to do. If you go into a room, clear every single corner, what did you just accomplish? Take a guess. Did you think you wasted time? No. You are now confident knowing that no one is in that room. You cleared out that whole entire room you took the extra steps, those extra bit of precaution, knowing that you could get shot from behind, clearing that room. So you don't know who's gonna be there. But you still did it, and now you know no one's on that side, and then you can go and clear the other side. And if there is a guy, you'll get him. As long as you're slow pieing that corner, you'll get him. But what I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate the most, I really do, I really don't like it, is when people say they can't do anything because they're bad. No, listen, I, I'm actually upset because I'm making this whole video up on the spot, but listen, okay? <laughs> I hate when people say they can't do things because they're bad. Dude, I'm fucking copper. I was copper. Now I'm like bronze too. I'm getting, I'm getting okay. But you can really be the best that you want to be. You can be your best and still not get up anywhere. Like, 
that's where kind of I have been. I've been averaging above like 10, averaging eight to nine to like 12 kills a game. You could really be doing your best and you could you could not do good at all, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean it's all on you. You could have really bad teammates and that's most of the time what the problem is. If you're solo queuing, it's very hard because of your teammates to get out. And when I, I've watched countless videos explaining this and I never, ever understood like what they meant like i was like dude if i'm good enough i can fucking make it i'm gonna worry about none of my teammates but dude like you have to do a lot of the work and you could put in a thousand fucking percent into that round and you will still lose it because some fucking fucking cali shot goes through the wall shoots you in the fucking back when you're trying to fucking shoot sledge cross down the hall like it it is it can be really brutal and really annoying and really unfair but um once you find a five stack, like I'm telling you, you will, you will, you will have a lot of fun. Um, should you go straight into solo queuing? No, it, I don't think you should. Dude, my videos are so fucking unstructured. Like I'm over here trying to edit the video and I'm like, dude, I left out like a million things. So uh, let's redo this real fast. So your rank does not matter at all. You want to get to platinum? Great. Forget about it. You're not going to get to platinum right now because what you want to do is you want to practice hard you want to practice every day of your life and only that no don't worry about platinum don't worry about anything but your skill your aim can only take you so far and you're not going to get to champion league without being a fucking nut in here not not like not like that but if you really want to be nutty if you really want to be crazy and pull off these insane strats and see all these pro moves and do all these insane crazy things you're gonna have to just chill and focus on you don't focus on platinum as your goal don't focus on diamond as your end goal don't focus on gold as your end goal don't focus on champion league as your end goal don't focus on anything like that don't focus on any rank just focus on you getting better every, every single match. And I guarantee that's where you'll see the progress. If you focus on every time you lose a little bit of MMR, every time you lose a ranked match, you're never gonna ever, ever, ever get better. You should be playing to win, not be playing to get kills. Cause when you, when you do that, you really do not have your head in the game whatsoever. You're just very afraid of dying if you do not play to win. If you play to win, you don't really give a shit about dying because you know you're gonna come back twice as strong the next round. So that's really all it's about, is really putting yourself in that mindset. Hey, I'm gonna walk into this match. I'm not gonna worry if I lose or not, but I am gonna give it every fucking thing. I'm going to pay attention to everything in this match. I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna give proper callouts. I'm gonna learn the map. If I do not know the callouts, I'm going to learn the map. If I don't fucking get that guy, if he kills me, if he does a little fake, if I peek a corner, and I die because I went too far out, I'm not gonna do that next time. I'm gonna slow peek next time. I'm gonna quick peek, very short, very short distances, just getting my head, just getting that sight line past the door and pulling back. You really have to learn from your mistakes if you ever plan, ever plan on getting better. And confidence is where that all comes from. Once you really have the mindset that, hey, I'm confident enough in my gun skill, you'll get further. Once you have the confidence that you are strong enough, that you're confident enough to know which parts of this map without even having to be in that room will look like and where the enemy could be in that room at that time, you're confident. You really just need to dedicate some time to the game and that's really all it takes. It's not, it's not any secret trick. You don't see people losing 50 pounds in an hour for a reason I mean you can take those pills you can see if you lose 50 pounds in a day or whatever they go there claiming and if it works dude sign me up uh, I don't need to lose pounds but I mean but I mean if you find a growth pill I will happily take it 12 inches is just not cutting it for me but really it really does come down to knowing that you are confident and if you're not confident that's when you start to get in slumps, that's when you start to get in drags and you do not perform any better. If you die consistently, if you're dropping one in five, if you're dropping 
five and fucking eight. Like if you if you're just not doing good, if you just do not feel good after a round, it doesn't don't even pay attention to my fucking the deaths. Like it does that doesn't matter. If you just don't feel, I mean that does matter because maybe you're playing a good support role. Maybe you're not fragging. Maybe you're dying. That's that's okay. As long as you're playing good support role, it doesn't matter. Figure out your role. Figure out your role and play that beautifully. That's all you really need. But just be confident. And you might think, how am I going to be confident? Just don't second guess yourself every time you come to a decision. Just do it. Think about all the options and pick one option. Don't think about the what ifs. Think about I can go here. I can go there. There could be a cab in that corner. There could be um, a lesion mine. A lesion hiding behind bedroom. I'm going to push in, and I'm going to commit, and I'm going to kill him. He's in there. And if you don't kill him, don't worry about it. Go next round. You'll get him. But yeah, just remember your rank. Just remember your rank does not matter. Play for you. Don't play for anybody else. Learn the map knowledge. Learn from your mistakes. And be confident. Um, I didn't want to make this all about gaming, but last thing. If you do really want to get good at fucking playing some competitive games, upgrade your PC. I do plan to get... I'll give you my whole build right here. Um, it it's gonna consist of a twenty. Blah, blah, it's gonna consist of a Ryzen 3800X, I think, or 3700X. I'm not sure which one I want to throw in. Um, all really depends if I'm gonna be. Well, yeah, I do want to stream, so I probably would go for that. Nah, 37X is is a beast. Um, anyway, uh, and then I'm gonna throw in a RTX 2080 Super. So that honestly it's not too bad like it's pretty it's it's honestly quite cheap it's like two grand to build that whole system not just those two parts but the whole system and all of my other parts and it's really not too bad like i can sell my computer for like 500 bucks get a good deal on that yeah i think i think it'll do pretty well but confidence is key if you want to get better if you want to have faster reaction times don't use a 60 hertz monitor i'm telling you there is a difference you want to invest in a hundred and 20 hertz or more monitor don't go for 200 120 to 144 you're good your eye does not see a difference above basically 120 i guarantee if you play it's a slight difference from 120 to 144 um but past that 144 you're not going to see anything i guarantee it i guarantee it 120 compared to like 90 hertz is miles different miles apart it is it is beautiful to look at 120 to 144 hertz monitor man when you first see it you will be like when i first seen it i was like laughing my ass off i was just laughing because i was so happy and so surprised about how different it is like i cannot go back to 60 i think my fucking game's lagging i think my game's lagging when i see my game at 90 hertz like, I was playing Rainbow Tech, and I was, like, looking around. I'm like, dude, why why is it lagging in this one spot? Like, like am I playing, like, 30 fucking frames? You know, what is going on? I look at the counter. It's at 90 frames. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm an idiot. I, I'm not an idiot. But, like, it's, it's just such a big difference that you really, oh, my God. I cannot believe I've been playing 60. Like, it's not smooth. I don't understand who thought 60 was smooth. Like, it really isn't. I'm not just saying that to be a fucking what's the word a cocky head i'm just like it really is so different and like if you if you haven't tried it you need to fucking try it because it's beautiful oh and if you wonder why i haven't dropped the video um recently that any video recently that's because i lost my fucking battery charger again i found it it was downstairs and then i went to go make a video and my tripod literally just fell apart in my hand like i went to go screw the 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 base on and it just the spring just shot out and it just fell into a million pieces and uh the the legs on it like it has legs so it like like it's like a tripod right they were really loose <laughs> like it was not holding the weight up too well that's a two-year-old joby no no two-year-old uh gorilla pod so uh that's a two-year-old gorilla pod so it's it it has been it's been doing quite well, not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I am gonna release this video on OxyScene. That's my gaming channel. If you do like gaming and you wanna check out my gaming channel, you can go do that down there. It's OxyScene. Um, this has been Denzel Hook. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I will catch you guys later. My name is Denzel Hook and confidence is key. I'm not doing that again. Peace, have a good day. Oh, and happy Bladed Valentine's Day because Whenever you might see this, Valentine's Day, what a
podcast and it will be belated so uh yeah peace